Righto. Sine, cos, and tan. What do they mean? What is the uh, the meaning of these mystical things? Okay, so we're going to go right back to the beginning and look at how we get them, and then that'll show you what actually they mean. All right. So let's do something a bit magical here. All right. So I've got two right angle triangles. Okay, now I've drawn these as accurately as I can and as precisely as I can and measured the angles and the sides as precisely as I can. I've used grid paper so I know that there's you know a, a right angle there. Okay, so this one here, uh, we've got 6.7 centimeters that way, 6 centimeters that way, 3.4 centimeters that way. Now, as you already know, um, if this is your reference angle, that's the opposite, that's the adjacent, and that's the hypotenuse. Okay, so then all I've done is just recorded what are the three sides according to each one. Okay, so they are very similar triangles in that they have the same angle, and theoretically all three angles are the same, but the size is different, and that's really important. I'm going to show you that the things work no matter what the size. Okay, that's, that's a vital concept. All right, so I've got these, you know, triangle A, adjacent is six, opposite is 3.4, hypotenuse is 6.7. Similar for B, there's the adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse. Okay, now let's say we get triangle A. And we go, right, um, I'm gonna get, <clears throat> get the opposite and then divide it by the adjacent. So opposite over adjacent, I've got 3.4 over six. I just grab the calculator and do that, and I get 0.57. I do the same for the adjacent and the hypotenuse. I get those measurements up here, divide them and get 0.89. Same here for the opposite and hypotenuse. Those two there, divide them and they get 0.51. Cool. And it's just for triangle A. Right out then, if I go and do the same thing with triangle B. Okay, so the opposite and the adjacent, there's the opposite, there's the adjacent, 4.6 over eight, divide those with the calculator and you get 0.58. If I get the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so it's the same fraction, the same, doing the same sides over each other, only there's different sizes because they're different sized uh, triangles, okay. Then I get 0.89 and 0.52. Okay, now, here is the big idea. If I could draw these triangles perfectly, if I could measure the sides and the angles perfectly, then these numbers that are highlighted would be the same. So 0.57, 0 0.58, if, if I did that, if I could do this perfectly, these numbers would match. These numbers would match, I've rounded that, but you know, two X number of decimal places, they would match, same here, okay? Let's expand that out a bit bigger. We started off with two triangles that had the same angle, the same reference angle, two right angle triangles with the same reference angle, but different sizes of the triangles. And we get pretty damn close to the same sides. So the same fractions when I divide, divide them, the same decimals. Okay, here's the big idea. If I get any, any right angle triangle, so long as it is, I've got a right angle and a 30 degree angle there, and I go and do this with the sides, I will get similar things. Literally, anyway, so it could be kilometers by kilometers or millimeters by millimeters. So long as I can measure perfectly, I will get these kinds of numbers. Okay? We then give these a name. If I get the opposite divided by adjacent, we've called that the tangent or the tan. If I get the adjacent over the hypotenuse, we call that the cosine or we shorten it for cos. If we get the opposite over the hypotenuse, we call it the sine, and we, S-I-N-E, but we, we simplify to S-I-N, okay? It's not sin, it's sine. All right, let's just continue that on a bit, okay? 
What does it mean? What do these numbers actually mean? All right. So we've just given this a name, okay? We have said tan of this angle, whatever it is, is equals opposite over adjacent. Let's just pick on tan, okay? Now we've just seen that if I get tan 30, that ends up being, if I go and do opposite divided by adjacent, well, it's about 0 0.57 or 0 0.58 thereabouts. If I grab my calculator and go tan 30, I get 0 0.577, okay? If I do the calculator, it's 0 0.577. All right, so what's that mean? That means 0 0.577 is the magic number. that links opposite and adjacent for a 30 degree triangle, okay? So when we write tan 30, that equals just a number. That's all it is. There's nothing magical about it. Well, actually, no, there is something magical about it, okay? But it's, it's just a number. It's just a code for a particular number and it is the, the fraction or the number, the decimal number that links the opposite and the adjacent for a right angle triangle, it's gotta be right angle, when there's 30 degrees, okay? If I had cos, so cos of 30, so we've, what do we say here? It's about 0.89, let's see what the calculator says. Uh, cos 30, ooh. I'm a bit off, but anyway, according to the triangle, the uh, calculator, 0 0.866. Okay, now, again, that means 0 0.866 is the magic number that links, ooh, what's it link? It links the adjacent and the hypotenuse for every 30 degree triangle. Okay, well, what happens if you don't have 30 degrees? Well, that's the thing. That is the magic number that links it when the angle is 30 degrees. As soon as you change the angle, you get a whole different set of magic numbers. Okay, so for instance, uh, sine 32, cos 32, tan 32, uh, sine 32 is 0. Point, I'm going to call it 0. 0.53, um, cos 32 is 0. 0.8. Four eight and oops, ten thirty two is zero point six two five. Okay, so they are the special numbers, the magic numbers that link those three sides, uh, the pairs of sides, when the angle is thirty two. Okay, what if I have forty five degrees? Okay. Sine 45, cos 45, tan 45, okay, now this is an interesting one because it'll end up funny looking numbers, uh, not so funny, sine 45, it's 0 0.7, 0 0.707, uh, cos 45, it's the same number, okay, and 10.45 is 1, exactly, exactly 1, okay? So they are the magic numbers that link the two sides, each one, each one links two sides when the angle is 45 degrees. So if you had, you know, if I had 
you know, two meters, and two meters that way. That's a 45 degree triangle. That's how that works. Okay, so just to go back, what do they mean? Okay. Each number is this magic number that links two sides for a triangle when the angle is a particular amount. And as soon as you change this angle, uh, cos 53, yeah, let's have a look at that. Uh, cos 53 is 0.60602. Okay, that's what it means. And then you go and use that to find unknown sides.